this point in time, the lights are just flickering off and on. Uh, the good thing is we do not have any structural damage uh, to date. But I'm concerned about the people who decided to uh, to stay there and ride it out. That, those, those are in my, in my thoughts and prayers at this moment. You're on a barrier island, so people have to get over the bridge to get off, right? They did, and they would have. And uh, if they had a heated the warning earlier, they could have. But now the bridge is closed. Yeah, so uh, if they have not left Apalachicola now, they have to hunker down, and it's hard to find a safe way to do that on a low-lying barrier island, isn't it? Exactly. That's why we stress the point over and over. Take this storm series. It's, it's life, it has life-threatening impact. Evacuate. But a lot of people come complacent because of past storms that uh, they were issued evacuation orders and nothing happened. So they just decided this was going to be another one of those occasions, and it turns out that it's not. And that's concerning because those people are still there, and I imagine they are going through uh, pretty rough times right now. Yeah, can you can you give us a, a rough average elevation of your town? It can't be more than a, a dozen feet above sea level. And exactly, and it's not. Uh, it's not. We're actually in a very low line area. I mean, we're talking about a coastal community that if you dig in the ground a couple of feet, you hit water. Yeah. I've been to Apalachicola. I know you've got some great oysters there. Um, Thank you. Well, but even even that, I mean, the, the seafaring uh, folks who, who live and work in your town, I mean, the, the oyster beds are going to likely get ripped up by this hurricane, right? Well, that's that's normally what happens in the past. The uh, the wave action stir up the silt in the bottom of the, uh, the bay, and it covers the oysters and actually smother those. And we have seen that in past storms where the, uh, the, the whole crop of oysters are lost for at least a year or two because of that. So this is a storm that's going to have long-lasting effects. What do you tell your, your fire rescue personnel, your police? I mean, they're going to want to answer those 911 calls that come in, but it just isn't safe to do so, is it? Well, exactly. They're out there now. In fact, chief police, I've been in constant communication with them uh, since, since I evacuated myself. And they're out there in the middle.